At five, we told you about a Howland eighth grader who was arrested for making a school threat. The fifth arrest involving school threats in Howland since the Parkland, Florida massacre. New tonight at six, First News reporter Tyler Chill tells us the role a cell phone app played in the most recent arrest. He's live tonight, right now in the newsroom. And of those five arrests, police say four of them came from online. This particular one on Snapchat who helped police track down that student. How the police received a call about a threatening message posted on Snapchat Thursday night. The threat was a picture of two weapons and a comment that it's going to be fun at TCTC tomorrow. Officer Eric Boker is Howland School's resource officer. He says Snapchat helped the department track down the student who police accuse of making the threats. They expeditiously got the information that we gave them and they were very quick in responding back to us with the information on the location where this threat was originated from. Within 25 minutes of making the request, Snapchat sent Howland police the necessary information. Police say the guns in the photo were airsoft guns, and the school canceled the trip to the Trumbull County Career and Technical Center, even though there was no credible threat to any of the schools. Howland schools have dealt with several threats since the Parkland, Florida massacre, five of them resulting in arrests. Superintendent Kevin Spiker says it seems that the students making those threats are new to the district. They've been uh, situations where kids are upset at someone or they think it's funny or they're just uh, putting it out there to see what happens. Uh, and that's what it's kind of resulted in. Now this student has been charged with inducing panic. He'll have to have a mental evaluation before he returns to school. He also faces a 10 day suspension and potentially being expelled from school. From the newsroom tonight, Tyler Trill, 27 First News at 6.